In today's video, I want to take a look at how to concatenate strings. It's a very simple process, don't worry about it, but we're going to go through all the details and how to properly and safely do so in C. So first things first, we have here two strings I have declared. Both of them have 100 characters in size and one has the values, well, the value my name is and the other one has a name. Uh, suppose that this second uh, string you read from the uh, from the keyboard or from a file or something and you want to concatenate this string which is just there in the program and this one which is uh, something dynamic not like i have it right now okay so to do so to concatenate the str2 on top or after str1 what we have to do is just call a function called str cat this str cat so string concatenation concatenation so this str cat function what it does is taking a destination a place to uh, concatenate things to and then a string that you want to concatenate to that so i want to concatenate after str1 the str2 here in this case and if i want to print this i'm just gonna say percent s backslash n str just str1 as you'll notice here i'm not printing out str2 anywhere on the screen so if i try to run this you'll notice i'm just gonna get the expected results i get my name is bob jordan Nice. So uh, we know that, well, we have just printed str1 here and on top of str1, this string was added. And it also took care of the null terminator for us. You know, uh, after this string, we have a null terminator and after this one, we also have one. So it actually overlapped this string on top of the null terminator of str1 so that the whole string is complete. That's, that's nice. But as you might notice, I have added here a simple define so that I don't get an error when uh, actually executing the code. So if you're using a more recent compiler, if you don't define this, you're actually going to get an error saying that this is unsafe. Why is it unsafe? Because the destination uh, doesn't have a limit, right? So if for some reason this string was, let's say 200 characters long, it had actually 200 characters until the null terminator here, uh, then it would overflow if you wanted to concatenate this on top of this because this guy only has a hundred characters, right? So uh, with the safe versions of this underscore s, with this guy you can actually pass in a well a third parameter that's so uh, serves as the second one here. It says size in bytes, size in bytes of the destination, right? And the size in bytes of our destination is very simply a hundred. Well, times the size of char, but the size of char or multiplied by the size of char is actually kind of redundant because a char is more, most of, more often than not, it's going to be just one byte. So just multiply hundred by one. Fine. But then if we run this, everything works and it's more safe. If we had here a lot more characters, I'm going to actually print a lot of characters here and I'm gonna let it define its own size. So it should be a pretty large, yeah, here you see, uh, it's uh, an STR of 234 bytes long. So now if I try to run this, you'll notice that it actually does break saying here inside uh, this error saying that the buffer is too small, right? So in this case, everything, well, sort of what went according to plan, the buffer that we wanted to Safe to, we, we told it that it was a hundred bytes long and this guy was much longer, much bigger than that. And it couldn't actually save it into it. So this is uh, something that you get if, uh, that you get a crash wave with the underscore S version. If I don't use this, for example, let's go back to this uh, really long string. And if I don't use the underscore S and just use the normal version like so, and actually define this so that I can run it, you will notice that it sort of works, but as you can see, the the, uh, the runtime actually checks the stack and it says that it was corrupted. So there was some, basically what happened, there was some buffer overflow at one point in time. And uh, while here I got an error in some compilers, in some environments, you will not get an error. And instead, uh, somebody could actually take advantage of this and hack the system. And of course, unless you check this specifically, you're not going to get an error either way, as we've seen before. Right? So if we do this and uh, run this again, 
nothing, uh, nothing obvious happens. Now, another version of the strcat function is actually strncat. And this is actually supported by most compilers, so you can actually use it if you don't have the safe versions. And you can make it, you can make this call really safe using it. So what this does is with this n, it basically says that you're gonna give me an n, a number, that tells me how many characters I should copy from this guy on top of this. Right, so here, it takes in as a third parameter, the count. So the number of characters it should uh, copy. And here I can say, all right, well, why not just type in four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I can just say 10 here. And if I run it, well, I'm just gonna get the expected result. Right? If I say nine, for example, I'm only gonna get, well, nine. As you can see, the N here is missing. So that's to be expected. This is not really that useful if we just uh, type in a simple number. But what you can do is use a property of this. So this number here is actually a sort of limit. Like it is going to copy as much as nine characters from the destination to the source. So if I type in here, for example, 100, you might notice that if I run it, I'm only going to get this string copied in. I'm not going to get anything after it, any, any garbage values after it. So it only really copies as much as there is of the string. So this is a limit. And what you can do is use this uh, a sort of limit to calculate how much you can actually store in, inside this buffer. So you can say, OK, well, what's the size of the buffer? Well, the size of the buffer is a uh, hundred. Okay, so I'm gonna say with a hundred, then subtract the number of characters that are already inside the buffer. So our str1 already has this many characters in it. So I'm gonna subtract the number of characters that are already in there, str1, and then I'm also gonna subtract one. That's because this number doesn't take into consideration the null terminator. And if you have an really like here, if I have a string of a hundred characters, the last one has to be in a null terminator. So really I have space for 99 characters. Similarly here, I have 100 characters here, but well, I have to fit in the number, uh, the number of characters inside the buffer that are already in there. And then I have to fit in one uh, more character either at the end or somewhere that is the null terminator. And this is how much space I have to store inside this str1. Okay, now if I try to run this, uh, it's gonna work, right? It's gonna perfectly work. But if I try to actually add a lot more characters, right? So I'm gonna just copy and paste this a couple times. And if I take a look at the size of this, this is 172 characters. So this is much bigger than the buffer we're trying to uh, cram the characters into. If I run it, you'll notice that doesn't crash, doesn't say anything. It just did not copy all the characters on top of that buffer. It stopped after this guy actually hit its limit of 100 characters. And if I, for example, if I actually print, um, let's say here, print f percent uh, z u, that's the size. I'm gonna say str len of str one. This guy is 99. Of course, we have size 100, but it's 99 because we have to uh, have a. Uh, one byte for that null terminator at the end there. So that's that's that 99 plus one it makes 100 characters, which is the size of our buffer. So this is a safe way to copy, uh, to concatenate strings using str and cat. If you can, you should use the safer versions of this. There's also str and cat underscore s, which you can use. Uh, that takes in also the if I take a look at the signature here, it takes in also the size of the buffer. So I can type in here 100, right? And this is like doubly safe, but I don't think this is really needed. If you want to, maybe. But uh, I think with str and cat and this uh, way of calculating the number of characters you should copy over, it's safe enough, right? But of course, it is much easier to actually use the str cat underscore s, so without the n, this guy because you only have to specify the number of characters inside the, the buffer, inside the, the destination string. Problem is you're gonna have to pre-check this guy before, otherwise the program is actually gonna crash on you if you uh, try to save more characters. 
rather than with str and cat where you can actually specify to just copy as many characters as you want and not crash just go forward with it okay so you have a choice here right if you want your program to sort of give an error or if you want to your program to continue if it needs to trim the the string the str2 here and that's about it. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you got something out of this video and you understood what's going on with the concatenation. Really, strcat is again just a for loop that goes through and copies the source on top of the destination, but it's uh, it's very convenient, I think. And you should know about this and the safer version of copying the or concatenating the strings. Well, take care, and I hope to see you next time. Bye.